And y'all had a conversation about future and Sierra. Now, me and Tone talked today. Me and Tone, I already debated Tone about this today. I am very tired of this argument that you men try to make when it comes to future and Russell Wilson. Here's the deal. You can't, if you a dad, can't nobody out dad you, okay? If So Russell Wilson don't have a space to be a better father if you want to be a father. In my case, my parents, I didn't, we didn't live in the same household. They was never married. My mother had other boyfriends throughout her life for me growing up, but couldn't nobody out dad my dad. There was no space for a man to occupy being my father because my father had it on lockdown. So I think this conversation with Russell Wilson being willing to step up to be there for somebody else's child it's really whack that y'all don't just give him props for loving on baby future. Because guess what? Would you rather him have no father figure? Would you rather him be the little boy sitting there with no man showing him love? No, this man should have said, I'm going to love you like I gave birth to you. Future is a sperm donor. Russell Wilson is a father. Now, what the fuck? I talk now. I got, I got you. Um, short? Yep, you can. Oh, I, oh, I forgot how you no, I do. Let, I forgot how you do. It. I let you get it you out. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got, I'm listening to what you're saying, and I'm, and I'm gonna be honest. Um, <laughs> but what I, who I was trying to defend <laughs> once again was not a future as dad. I was trying to defend the fathers who are there, and the mothers are pushing the father out because they, because the relationship didn't work. You know what I'm saying? Or I was talking about them stepfathers who like to throw it in the father's face, the active father's face, that they with their kid more. And that's why I brought up, I'm like, you really just going home. That's why you actually saw him more. Like, I, I see, I get my child when I, you know, when I'm supposed to, every time they call, I provide all of that. I was speaking for those people, not the future type of guys. But what we were, what we were referring to in that clip was that we were talking about the earlier part of the relationship. See, it, it's hindsight now. We saw that Russell and Sierra worked out, but a lot of times those situations don't work out. You introduce people to your kids early and the kid gets attached. And then when the relationship doesn't work, you know, we don't see, we don't see this guy no more. And the kid has gotten attached to him. You know what I'm saying? So what I was saying was when I said extraness, what I was referring to was I, I believed and as and i'm speaking as a stepfather who has fought for the dad who didn't do nothing even though i was in the house taking care of everything and you know that Ken. um i was i was speaking I, I was speaking as and i felt like hey let her let him go, go with her dad i was speaking about in the beginning of the relationship when sierra first started dating russell and she was i felt like she was using russell as to kind of jab back at future and I was saying I wanted Russell to have some backbone and be like, hey, don't post no picture with that man with, with the little boy in, in my jersey. We just started dating. That's a bit much. Let's like, like, come on, you ain't gotta post this. You know what I'm saying? It's got I think it's protocol and it's a way you do things. Now that that is his wife and those are his kids, you know, go right ahead. You know what I'm saying? But I felt like in So I'm gonna stop him. Hell! Shout out to my guy, the angry man. I, I see the angry man did a show on this last night. Yep. He made a post in his comment section and people was coming after him. He said mm -hmm. it, it was Russell in the picture of a little future. And, you know, angry man said that Russell is doing that to poke at future. And people, you know, some people say, nah, he, he, what's wrong with him being a stepfather? Why can't he just love the boy and be there for him? So it's a lot of talk, a lot of talk, man. It is. And shout out to the angry man. Angry man made the argument that you know R russell is seldomly seen with pictures of his own biological kids and now he's saying so just trying to connect some dots he like but it's more than not him taking a picture with another man's son and he got kids of his own but more more most photo ops is him and another man's son and hey there's there's a premise there he making some sense and we know the beef we know what it is we're gonna stop it's very low level, but it's observable reality. A uh, future is is the uh, attractive, uh, swagged out brother that gets the cheeks for free, as he did. And Russell's the one that got to come pay the highest price. We talk about this all the time, all the time. So yeah, Russell's only one up on future. His only one up, 
in a low level egotistical showdown is flaunting his own kid in front of him. So yes, I agree. It's petty. And like you say, I guess it came out that future say he ha he has to go through lawyers just to see his son. So you know it ain't. I guess he been going to court fighting. People act like he just stand back, but like we said, a lot of times parental alienation and yes, he's still paying her fifteen thousand dollars a month and he can't see his son. So yeah, that ain't that's, not, the picture. that's a lot for a man. I gotta stay in the man. That's yeah, a lot, man. That's a lot. And you you know with that, I ain't gonna sit here and demonize a uh, future. Cause look, like it seemed like Future is unbothered by, it, but how else is a man supposed to respond? Future can't come up on the internet, you know, showing any kind of emotion or hurt that he can't see his son. It's in his best interest to sit there, be stoic, and just deal with it as he's dealing with it. Cause and he that brother show any emotion and it's off with his head. So the burden of a man. Yeah, especially like you said, the boy name after your stage name, and that's your prized possession. I'm sorry he love all his kids, but he got kids with just Bonquisha in them. That's your kid with Sierra. That's the prized possession right there. You can't, and you ain't got no, no influence, you know. It's, here we go. Hey, here we go now. Let's be fair. Yeah, Future did it to himself. He he did what he did, and he made his bid, and I ain't got to lay in it. Don't feel sorry for him. We just call it now the reality of it. That's all. So what's the message? We got to watch where we spread in our seed. Even when we think in the moment, Sierra's this good woman. Clearly, she was a chameleon, and mm -hmm. has to do better. There you go. That part. Says Sierra is in control. Russ and Future's son are just pawns in Sierra's chess match against Future. There is no incentive being a stepfather. There you go. There you go. What do, what do you guys think? Y'all think Sierra and Russell are going to end this out happily ever after? Or no? <laughs> uh, man. <laughs> I'll let this go for another second. Well, can I? Can, I hear you. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I just want to say this. How Do you ever think about baby future in this, right? And this is why I said, if you want to be a father, can't nobody out father you if you a father. And that's why I stand on it. My mother and my father were not together, but couldn't no man out father my dad. There was no space to be my dad because my dad held that down 1000%. So now let's just talk about baby future. Uh, listen, we're all making assumptions. None of us are there, but we'll just go off of, we know Future has kids and we don't see him often with his children, right? So let's say we have this little baby who doesn't have that father figure. And now your mother is dating this awesome man. And just from the character of Russell Wilson, he's like, yo, I'm going to be there for you. You know, Russell Wilson is a community person. So should a little boy have no man loving going on because his father's not stepping up to the place? Or do we congratulate another man saying, I'm going to make sure you don't feel a lack yeah, of I a don't... male figure in your life because I'm going to I'm gonna do that for you so you don't have to be disappointed. And that's the part that I don't like in this conversation. Y'all always talk about future, the grown-ass man feelings how he feels when he sees another man playing football well how about you play football with your motherfucking son and another man don't gotta play football with your son let's talk about the child it's not fair for the child to lack because the sperm donor a.e the actual father doesn't want to be there so if another man wants to step up and make sure that 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 boy is loved on Nothing but a thank you or congratulations. I love that. And I've said. done that. You know what I'm saying? And that's okay. You can love on that child as much as you want. And that's what we would prefer. But I didn't I didn't post my stepdaughter until I had got married. Because well, because why not and, I, and I, I love you. Like because why, and, and, and that was, be, I'm that just was telling you, I'm just telling I don't think you I don't understand, know. Kendra, think... because you're not a man. And it's just certain things. It's 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 hold but on. I, it's like I don't mind cut you off, but I, it seems like we're, we're protecting futures. The no, it's not. You actually hold on. When you talk about you're grown ass men talking about the father, you actually protecting the child's feelings because what you don't want to do. I would never. My issue with Russell is he went on that public platform talking about how he knew fu fu baby future was his responsibility, and I would be crushed. I, I love that. I What's wrong with hold that? On. God, he said, He's, God spoke to him, and he was even honest and said that he wasn't even sure, but God spoke to him and said, I this understand is that. It's your responsibility. Nothing. That he got I understand that. that. I understand that. But it's a way to do things. I'm talking about in the beginning of the relationship. 
I'm talking about it's a code between men in a way that we should this well I still should have respect for the child like I'm not let's say let's say the child's mother was on drugs or something right you're not gonna publicly bad mouth the mom because the kid could possibly see that you know what I'm saying and even you can still love on the child and be there for the child without publicly humiliating the the other parent that's all I'm saying it's nothing wrong well, how about, oh, hold on but again how is he publicly humiliating future he said that God said to him at nine months he saw he got the message this is going to be your responsibility how is this publicly humiliating future and again I go back to this is huh. hell like he said you're not a man Kendra if future is sitting here because like you said we can sit here and joke and laugh a lot of times and i think the mm -hmm. internet sort of uh creates this like i said he got multiple baby mamas he loses with the seat he is nug nuggish but we cannot throw him in the realm of a deadbeat and that's yeah. what Kendra's doing we we can't do that right like like you said Kendra said, well, my dad was always involved, but well, your dad wasn't no damn rock star either, Kendra. He was working at the plant. He was able to see. So we got to put this in context. Mm -hmm. so, there you go. Well, I mean, what have you talked about? Listen, the Godfather said it best. Very simply put, uh, give your father the same understanding as you give your mother and judge your mother just as harshly as you judge your father and we'll get somewhere, but they refuse to do it. Like Mom working two jobs, ain't never home. What is she? A martyr, a saint. She sacrificed her life for the family. A father ain't home because he working two jobs or he on the road all the time working as a truck driver. What is he? A deadbeat dad, uh, an absent father. Do y'all not see how that goes? It's 100% of the time. Mom ain't never abs an absentee mother. She's always sacrificing. But the father ain't never. He out having a good time providing. But yeah, come on, man. Stop. We know it's a double standard and we're here to try to correct it as best, as best we can. <laughs> Steve Harvey married a chick like Sierra. He's funding her and her kids more than his kids. Meanwhile, she's banging chef. She, yeah, banging the chef and the bodyguard. See what I'm saying? Chess locked up. That, and this is why we say it's not a good deal. We when you listen, this ain't for every woman, but listen, for the majority, y'all see these hyenas. If you engage with these modern hyena single moms, they throw you in a column. They're going to pretty much say and do what they want. They're going to test you regularly because you've already accepted a kid that ain't yours. So you're going to accept a lot more of the stuff, most likely. Again, this ain't for everybody, but it is the majority. Man. Shout out to Divine. I am Divine says... As future child gets older, he's going to ask about his real father, which future proves you could be a great father and still won't get approached. Man, he ain't going to ask nothing. That boy going to grow up. His name is Future. That ain't even Future's real name. You named after your daddy's stage name. Your daddy a rock star and an icon. You growing up in social media era with cell phones. He got to go to school. He's going to know exactly. He's going to embrace it. As he should. Young future gonna be he gonna grow up, he's gonna hit puberty, he gonna like what he like, and he gonna be like, I need guidance, as every young man is looking for guidance. And he's gonna be like, Am I gonna look to Russell? I know what the media say about him. Or am I gonna look to my biological father, the freaking uh rock star out here? And it's a no-brainer. <laughs> Might grow up, be a, be a whole rapper, and end up making a diss track about Russell. That'd be that'd be one of the worst black pills of all time. See? And baby future yeah, but... grows up to be a rapper and his dad and big future produces the track big future on the production and little future rapping this and future called him a simp and everything yeah. Boom, no tell the whole tooth and nothing but the tooth yeah little future gonna be up there talking about rapping talking about yeah when you would leave my daddy would call and him and my mom on the phone for a mighty long time, <laughs> Papa Russ. Like, the black pill is most likely coming. I hope it ain't, but we know how life goes. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Shout out to H. Luis. Says, King Ashyfoot got a wrangle with this bear on a daily. What a lucky guy. A well, guy. Too, like you said, him and, him and Kendra don't live together. So he don't. They live like three hours apart. She was saying two hours away, or he live up there you go. upstate. He live up a little where. So 
Yeah. And listen here. If if he had to buy her femininity, he done did it via Rolls Royce. So she 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 feminine to him. <laughs> he paid for it. <laughs> uh-huh. And Racha, he says Kendra is stuck. She has no experience as a mother of a child. Yeah, that's, that's true. Hard. That's true. And Sal Bill says Kendra's forgetting the part where Sierra was a 304 for every entertaining for 20 years and caught a Hail Mary with Russ. Man, and like you said, there you go. She only got a kid with future. Like you said, she allegedly done been with Bow Wow, 50 Cent, Omari Stoudemire, and the list goes on and on. There you go. And what's and we, we talk about that real quick. The problem with that, she was with a whole bunch of alpha males. And what does that do? That leaves a woman alpha widowed. What does that do? Leave her with the inability or extremely hard time to pair bond. That's why it's a problem. Man. And shout out to your daddy plug. Says Russ inherited future shadow. He says figuratively Figure. and literally. He says in 10 years when Sierra divorced him, he will get no credit because they don't like BMs anyways. See what I'm saying? Wish this ain't true, man. I hope it ain't true, but y'all saying it. Y'all know what it hmm. is. Shout out to I Am Divine. Says, as Future's child gets older, he's going to ask about his real dad. You could be a great stepfather and still won't be appreciated. Stepfathers mm-hmm. get no respect in most cases. Majority. In most cases. In most cases. So how does, how, how does a message from God publicly I guess what humiliate I'm saying the saying is how would you feel I just I can only talk about how I would feel if a if a man if a man went well, if a man went uh, on a podcast and told me hey when I first met your son I'm not gonna say my son's name but he was like let's say I met I, when I first met your son I knew he was gonna be my your, my responsibility I'd be like hold on I'm here you know what I'm saying what you mean your responsibility you that's, ain't that's why it was right there you can't use yourself as Example, because you fall in line in the example I'm giving with my dad. Because I know you can't no. no man out father you. Because you being a father to your son is more important to you than anything. And you will change Absolutely. your life around to be a father to your son. So there's no gap for a man to ever say that. And that's the point I'm trying to make. And you know that. Even with whatever, we don't talk a lot, but we can say this much. I no no man can out father you when it comes to your son. Yeah. And that's why I go back to the first thing I say. You as a as the father, if you hold down that space, another man can't stand in that space. And you don't have to be married to Sierra to hold that space down. My parents were not married, nor did we live in the same household. But you and just can't, could just saw, no man but when you just saw with your last guest, and I don't know the, the whole extent, the, the kid right there, the daddy right there, yeah, I need a stepdaddy. And it, you see what I'm saying? I, I'm talking about that type of stuff. Like the, the disrespect okay. is a, it's, it's like a disrespect her. for the father because the relationship didn't work. And that's what I don't like. I'm not taking up for future. I don't think future's a good dad. No, nah, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I respect Russell for what he does. But like I said, like, it's just, it'd be, to me, it just be feeling like a lot of humiliation when it comes to the father when the relationship ain't together, even if the father's trying to get Listen, I mean, I this, think this it could is, be case by case, 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 and I, and I can say it I can't case, agree with this. I process. agree with you on the it's Russell case thing. By That's case. why I, I, said, I started yeah. this off by saying, sometimes you talk too much, you know, you get to talking on them podcast, and you'll say something crazy. <laughs> and I like, I do want to clear that up, that I don't have any ill intent. I, like, I, don't, I don't have no problem with what Russell Wilson is doing whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? But it's a lot of real fathers out here. Okay. And there we go. And my problem with Kendra with this, she keep wanting to compare this. We got to stop being so anecdotal. And that'd be my mm-hmm. message to people a lot of times because, you know, you can't prove your point by giving your experience. That's no way to try to prove your point. Like Kendra Sarah said, well, my dad don't would have never. Kendra, if your mom would have married a guy of Futures Caliber and moved her across the country, your daddy would have never seen you. Barely. He'd have been non-custodial. And that just would have been what it was. And we got to understand these things. There you go. Context is so key when giving these examples, like Gav said, especially when they're anecdotal. Give the context so we can see and taste and smell it. Don't just leave, say it all vague and make it seem like it's a norm. Given the circumstances, the situation, it all will make sense. Yeah. It's, 
Stop. Stop comparing so much. <laughs> <laughs>